Okay, so this is your example number four for equilibrium of concurrent force system. So the 20 kilonewton, 20 kilonewton and 75 kilonewton forces are to be held in equilibrium by a third force F acting at an unknown angle theta with the horizontal. Determine the magnitude of force F and the angle theta. Yan. Okay. So, uh, i-recall natin yung ano, concept ng equilibrium of concurrent force system. So, ang equilibrium of, uh, uh, yes, equilibrium pala tayo, no? Kasi diba, ang resultant ng concurrent force system is the square root of summation of forces vertical squared plus summation of horizontal squared. And under tayo sa equilibrium, ibig sabihin, ni-resist na natin yung, ano, yung mga effect na yun. Okay? So, kung ni-resist natin, zero ang effect ng ating R in terms of vertical reaction, uh, vertical effect. And zero din yung uh, effect ng ating uh, resultant in terms of horizontal. Okay? Kaya yung ating summation of forces vertical is equal to zero. And yung ating summation of forces horizontal is also equivalent to zero. Ngayon, tat, uh, ang, ang tanong dito, ano daw yung ating ano, force F? Okay? So, kung napapansin nyo, Yung ating 20 kN is papunta saan? Sa left. Yung ating namang 75 kN is upward to the right. At yung ating F is downward to the right. So, ibig sabihin, itong 75 at yung F magtutulungan para i-resist yung 20 kN. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, itong 75 at, 7, uh, 75 at F is parehas na ano eh, inclined. So, i-resolve natin sila into components. So, napag-aralan nyo na sa chapter 4. Kapag components, kailangan nyo lang uh, unawain kung paano yung direction of force. So, yung ating force is directed downward to the right. Okay, and yung ating 75 kN is directed upward to the right. Ayan. Okay? So, ito pwede natin itong ano, solve, eh, di ba? So, 75 by what? By sin 30. Okay, yan. So, this is 37.5. Oops. So, 37.5 kN. Kasi, opposite siya sa ano, diba? 30 degrees. So, yung ito namang ano, horizontal niya is adjacent to 30 degrees. Kaya, ang gagamitin natin is cosine of 30 degrees. So, 64.95. So, 64.95 kN. Then, ito, tawagin natin to as what? As Fy which is equivalent to F sine of theta. Then, kasi opposite sa theta. Then, ito naman is Fx, which is equivalent to F oops, cosine. Kasi adjacent naman siya sa theta natin. Okay, so kahit ano naman unahin natin dito sa dalawang ito eh. So, ang gawin natin, unahin natin yung summation of forces vertical. So, summation of forces vertical is equal to zero. Assume natin na lahat ng upward forces is positive. Okay? So now, positive ang 37.5 kasi upward. So, 37.5 minus Fy, which is equivalent to F sine of theta equals to 0. Okay? So, yun yung 0 na yun. Yun yung summation of forces vertical. Kasi di ba naalala nyo sa resultant, uh, summation of forces vertical is equal to 37.5 minus F sine theta. Then, uh, zero nga to kasi nga uh, resultant tayo, uh, I mean equilibrium tayo kaya zero yung summation of forces vertical so ito yan para makita nyo lang and okay siya so next okay so itranspose na lang natin to para mag positive so F sine of theta is equals to 37.5 so pwede naman uh, ipalabas palabas na natin yung ano yung F Okay, so pwede natin sabihin na F is equals to 37.5 over sine theta. So may nasolve ba tayo sa equation? Wala. So tawagin na lang natin tong equation number 1. So hayaan lang natin siya. Okay? So next, summation of forces horizontal. Kasi mamaya dito, humihinto na kayo. Kasi may, okay, may equation na. Okay, nakakatakot pag may equation. Wag. Okay, kasi hindi pa naman tayo tapos sa ano natin eh, diba? Sa solution. Kasi ang kakatapos nyo lang solution, summation of forces vertical. Meron pa tayong isa pang natitirang solution. Ano yun? Summation of forces horizontal. Okay? So, assume natin lahat ng to the right na forces is positive. Okay? So, positive ang 64.95 kasi to the right. Okay? Then, positive din yung Fx which is equivalent to Fx cosine of theta. Then, minus 20. 
is equals to 0. Then, uh, palabasin natin itong dalawang to. Okay? Ilagyan natin dun. So, magiging fx is equals, uh, fx cosine of theta is equals to what? Kung ito magiging ano, positive. Ito naman magiging negative. Kaya, positive 20 minus 64.95. So, ano to? Negative 44.95. So, negative 44.95. So, pwede natin namang ano, uh, ah, sorry, this is ano pala, this is F, okay, this is F, yan, so F, and, uh, okay, lapit na natin ang konti ito, yan, so, hmm, pwede na to equation number, ano, equation number 2, yan, then, um, okay, so, i-substitute natin yung equation 1 in equation number 2. Okay? So, 37.5 over sine of theta multiplied by cosine of theta is equals to negative 44.95. So, ano matitira dito? Mag ano tayo? Uh, ibaba muna natin to So, cosine of theta over sine of theta is equals to negative 44.95 over uh, 37.5. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, ang gawin natin, pagbalik tayo natin ito yung sine theta. Gawin natin itong uh, sine theta over cosine theta. Kasi, ang sine theta over cosine theta is equivalent to tangent theta. Okay? So, ito nyan, magiging na siyang equivalent to tangent theta. So, kung pinagbaliktad mo yung sin theta at cosine theta, pagbabalik na rin rin natin to. So, magiging na siyang negative 37.5 over 44.95. Okay? So, ngayon, tangent theta is equals to arctan of negative 37.5 over 44.95. Five. So, theta is equivalent to arc tan of 30, uh, negative 37.5 over um, ilan yun? 44.95 So, ang lumabas, negative 39.84 So, negative 39.84 degrees Okay so, now, negative yung lumabas sa theta. So, kayaan mo natin yung negative na yan. I-substitute natin yan sa ano, uh, pagkuha ng F. Okay? So, in Okay, so, in equation 1, substitute theta. Okay? So, F is equals to 37.5 over sine of negative 39.84 degrees. Okay? So, sige. Uh, lagyan natin dito. Uh, mas magandang ito yung ilipat natin. Eh. Hmm? Ayan. Lapit dito yan. Okay. Okay. So, ano nga ulit dyan? F is equals to 37.5 Ito? Ah, hindi. Asan F? Ito. Over sine of theta, which is equivalent to negative 39.84 degrees. So, ang lalabas na sagot dito is Okay, so 37.5 over sine of negative um, 39.84 Tama ba yung angle? Ah, okay, 39.84 pala So, 39.84 So, negative 58.54 So, negative 58.54 So, this is kilo newton, no? So, kilo newton So, ngayon, uh, anong ibig sabihin ng negative na to? Okay, so, ibig sabihin um, Since negative siya, mali yung direction ng ating F Okay, hindi raw po siya dapat dyan. So, since naka-negative siya, ibig sabihin, ang tamang sagot po is ito. 
dapat andito yung ating F. Okay? So, let's try. So, ibig sabihin, kasi kapag andito yung F, kapag ginamit natin itong ano, summation of forces horizontal, okay? So, for checking tayo. And, kasi di ba sabi ang condition dito, dapat meron ng equilibrium. Okay? So, dapat equilibrium to. Dapat mag-zero yung summation of forces uh, horizontal. So, 64.95. Kung tinuloy natin to, okay, ang direction ng ating F is what? Positive. So, positive F, no? So, F is what? Uh, 58.54. Uh, positive kasi to the right yung ina-assume muna natin, ha? Okay? Then, minus 20 is equals to zero. So, dapat, kung nag yan, tama yung direction ng F na to. Okay? So, 64, sorry, sorry, ah, kulang pa pala, cosine theta. Oops. So, cosine of theta, which is equivalent to 39.84 degrees. Yan. So, 64.95 plus 58.54 cosine of 39.84 minus 20. Ayan. So, hindi po siya nag-zero. Anong lumabas? Uh, 89.9. So, 89.9. So, not equal to zero. So, ibig sabihin, mali yung direction. Okay? Nung ating F. So, ano daw ang tama? So, tama to na nag-negative. Ibig sabihin, mali talaga yung direction niya. So, ganito po sa equilibrium of force system. Nakakalimutan kong i-discuss. Kapag nag-negative yung mga value natin, ibig sabihin, mali yung in na direction sa problem or mali yung in ninyo na direction. So, okay lang na magkamali kayo sa assumption ng direction as long as makita natin dito sa final answer kung ano yung tamang direction niya. So, ito, ang una natin in na ang ating F is what? Um, downward to the right. Pero mali daw pala siya. Okay? Dapat pa ganito siya. Okay? Para lang siyang imi-mirror. Okay? So, ngayon, Sir, pwede po ba siyang gawing ganito? Ayan. Hindi pa pwede. Bakit? Kasi kung parehas tong upward, ayan, hindi na equilibrium yung, ano, yung uh, summation of forces vertical natin, di ba? Dapat merong, ano, downward na magre-resist sa 37.5. Kaya tama siya na downward. Pero mali siya na to the right. So, tama po ito. Na downward, pero to the right siya. So, let's check. Okay? Itong kulay blue. So, checking. Okay. So, kung ito ay to the left, yan, then ito naman yung kanyang theta. Okay? So, kung to the left, yan, so, 64.95, then to the left siya. So, magiging minus ang ano natin, fx. Okay? So, ito na yun yung fx natin. So, minus what? 58.54 cosine of theta. Okay? Then, minus 20 is equals to 0. So, dapat ito mag-zero na siya. So, magiging ano to? Minus minus 58.54 cosine of 30 point yan. Okay? Ayan. So, that is equivalent to 0 po. Ayan. Kapag ano, ginawa mo itong uh, times 10 raised to 0. So, 0. 0.000. So, approximately 0 na yan. Is equals to 0. So, Okay na tayo rito. Yan. Okay, so yan. Yan yung ano, uh, yan yung ano, sign. Uh, dito kayo malilito kasi sa resultant, sanay kayo na ginagamit yung sign para ma-determine yung ano, uh, kung sino yung nag-govern. Okay, pero dito po sa ano, sa uh, equilibrium, we use the sign, okay, the sign, okay, sing pala to, sorry. Sign, to determine the corrected uh, the correct uh, position or direction and so sir paano kapag positive okay kapag nag positive to ibig sabihin tama kapag nag sorry sorry teka lang yan kapag positive ibig sabihin tama pero kapag nag negative ibig sabihin ali okay mali yung ano position or direction Ito, chinek naman natin siya, di ba? Tumama. So, ngayon, check naman natin yung downward. 
Okay? So, check natin siya. Yung, ano, yung, I mean, yung summation of forces vertical ito. So, 37.5 minus F, which is equivalent to uh, 58.54. Okay? Then, sine of theta is equals to 0. Okay? So, dapat 0 yan. So, 37.5 minus 58. To memorize. Ah, 54. Yan. 50, 58. Uh, 54 minus, uh, times sine theta, which is equivalent to 39.54. Yan. 0 rin siya yun, ha? Okay? So, 0 rin siya. So, okay tayo rito. Okay. Tamang direction niya is um, downward to the left. Ibig sabihin kasi nito, kulang yung suporta para kay 20 kilo newton. Kasi obvious naman, mas malakas yung 75 kilo newton, di ba? So, kulang yung support na 20 kilo newton, kaya yung F siya itutulong para ma-resist yung effect natin sa horizontal. Okay? Para magkaroon ng equilibrium. Okay? So, ngayon, paano yung angle? So, yung angle, ginamit natin yung sign para ma-determine rin yung sign ng F. Okay? So, ito yung ano natin, angle. Okay, then, ang final answer sa F, okay, therefore, Okay. Therefore, F is equals to 58.54 kilo newton directed downward to the right. Okay, so importante yan. So, ito yung final answer natin. Okay, ayan. So, medyo komplikado ng konti, di ba? Ayan, so this is our problem number 4 for equilibrium of concurrent force system. So, thank you for watching. Bye!